after the release, we have fuse holders. Welcome to another edition of Tech Tip Tuesdays. My name is Jared and today we're going over the Lethal Performance Dual and Triple Return Style Wiring Harness Kits. Both of our return style wiring harness kits are universal, so you can wire them up in pretty much any vehicle to help you wire up a return style fuel system. These wiring harness kits are also exactly what we include in all of Lethal Performance dual and triple pump return style fuel systems. Starting with the dual return harness, we've got a fusible link here. This is going to connect to the positive terminal on your battery box. It's going to connect to the power wires, which are 10 gauge wires that run all the way from the front of the car or from the battery to the relays. The relays get ground to chassis using the two ring terminals right here. You've also got this blue wire, which is your trigger wire. You can trigger the fuel system to have it go when you key the car on or have it prime like factory, depending on how your tuner wants it set up. After the relays, we have two fuse holders. These actually come with 20 amp fuses. And the purpose of this is actually to protect the relays if there's a short in between the pumps and the relays. You can also upgrade these depending on if you're using a larger pump that requires a higher amperage fuse. Uh, you can upgrade to a 25 amp or 30 amp. It's just a standard blade fuse. They replace right in here and you're good to go. Going down from the fuse holders to the pumps, we use 12 gauge wiring. It actually goes to this six pin OEM stock connector and that's used on our SN95 Gen 3 Division X fuel hat. So it's a plug and play connection. However, if you're using a different aftermarket fuel hat that has wiring coming directly off of it and doesn't use this OEM connector, you can simply cut the connector off and wire it straight to wire. Moving along to the triple pump return style harness, it is very similar to the dual relay harness although it has three relays and three fuses, as well as three fusible links. It hooks up the same exact way. So recently I made a few upgrades to our triple pump return style wiring harness. And the reason for it is that on our newer fuel hats for the uh, S197, as well as the Coyote, our fuel hats use wiring come out of it. We do not have the OEM style connector like our SN95 hat does. So typically you would have to install the wire to wire, use buck connectors and heat shrink. However, the recent upgrade I made makes it a lot easier to install this and service the fuel hat. We've got our little pigtail here. You're going to wire this directly to the wires on the fuel hat using the buck connectors and heat shrink. And then you'll be able to directly plug the wiring harness into this connector on the fuel hat. If you need to service the fuel hat, replace a pump, you would just disconnect this, pull the fuel hat out. There's no cutting wires and have to re-solder or re-heat shrink or anything like that. It's all made simple for you guys. So again, I, I thought it was really good for us to make this upgrade for you guys. And this comes included in every triple pump return style wiring harness, as well as all of our triple pump return style fuel systems. So regardless, if you're using Elite Performance Division X fuel system or fuel hat, this wiring harness actually makes for a very simple installation and works excellent. If you guys have any questions regarding our dual or triple pump return style wiring harnesses, please give us a call, 561 753-8105. We ready? Yeah! <laughs> My name is Jared. My name is Jared. And today we're going to be going over the lethal performance. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Fuel systems to help up. Use one of these harnesses in that kit. Just like rambling on dumb. You know. <laughs> exactly what we include of all. Starting with a dual pump return style harness that uses the relays are going to what trigger trigger wire. You can have it to when you key the car on. You've also got a trigger wire. The blue wire is going to connect to either the key on wire or to have it prime like factory. So blue wire here with a buck connector on it. This is the trigger wire for the relays. So you can have it turn. 
You've also got a blue wires here with a black. Dude, I can't. What the? Fuck? I don't even know. Black and blues and fucking dude. Is I'm telling you the colors and the numbers and colors. I can't figure out. I struggle with numbers and colors, guys. Like big time. After the relays. After the release, we have fuse holders. Fuse holders. Hey, Spiegel. Fuse holders, master. Obviously, I've drank a lot of monster today. <laughs> After the relays, we have fuse holders. I'm dizzy. So have a cute little thing here. Um, yeah. I don't like how that's this round up. I don't like that. Thing. Oh, look here, there's a great snake. Look at a fucking crazy snake here. Oh, look at here. Yeah, you just wanna, just wanna grab it by its head so it can't bite ya. All right, I'm still struggling with this. <laughs> yeah, the slinky. Hey, all right. <clears throat> Fire this directly to the wires on your fuel hat and make a quick connection on our wiring harness. Mm, yep, it's f***ing wrong. Did it wrong. So close. Systems, and again, you can use them in universal applications. Any different, okay. Actually, a very awesome solution, regardless of whether you, yeah, I don't know. From others, is that it works. Pigtail, which has the wiring here. These are. Yeah, it was all right. I think I can do a little better than that. 